Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Elaine. This month, I'm using these vintage black and white ephemera printables from Digital Attic Studio, which I found on Creative Fabrica. This time, I decided to switch things up and try a vintage thing in my bullet journal. I usually go for modern styles, but I love trying new things and seeing how they turn out. I created this printable called Vintage Book Pages for my shop. The link is in the description below. I actually found these pages from some old books in the digital library that date back about 100 years ago. It turned out pretty nice, I think. I will be using these colored brush paints, some fine liners, and a unibow white gel pen. I will be using these washi tapes too. I have actually already pre-cut these printable stickers so that I can set up the pages a lot faster. I'm also planning on using this really cool Fairware ephemera sticker book that I recently bought from Amazon. The best part about it is that there are tons of stickers printed on washi paper and they are super affordable too. Now let's get started. This is my cover page for February. I'm tearing out my old book pages printable as a background. I printed this printable on vellum paper so it can show the texture well and I really like the transparent feeling of the vellum paper. And if you plan to use vellum paper on the pages, it's better to go with the tape runner instead of a glue stick. I printed all other printables on sticker paper, so it will be easier to stick the stickers on the pages. Usually, stickers are not very easy to peel off from the backing paper, so I'm using a slice knife that I bought from Amazon to make a small cut on the back, and then it becomes much easier to peel them off. I love to hear your thoughts and the suggestions, so please leave them in the comments below. Your feedback is so important to me and helps me create better content for you. Now I'm using some recycled craft paper from the pharmacy as a background. Then I'm using an orange brush pen to write the February title on the right page. I'm sticking some more stickers to decorate the pages. Creating these pages was so fun and uh, therapeutic. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have an Instagram or YouTube channel, feel free to leave your account name. I would love to check it out and support each other. Lastly, I'm using some wash tapes to finish the decoration. I have a variety of free printables available for you to use in your planners or journal. This includes a 13-page floral planner kit printable, a 2-page self-care planner, a sunset theme planner printable, a mood tracker, and uh, many more. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the free download link below to access these printables. 
That's it for my cover page. Now I'm working on my monthly calendar spread. It's the same process as the previous page. I really love making bullet journal pages with a vintage thing. It's so much fun. I didn't expect to like this that much, but layering pictures, words, and the different collage materials are just so enjoyable. This month, I tried a new layout for my monthly calendar, which is something I like to do every once in a while to keep things fresh. What about you? Do you like vintage things? And if so, what kind of vintage elements do you like to add to your journal pages? Next is my weekly plans spread. I'm adding some rectangle note stickers on top of everything to provide space for me to write down my weekly plans. I'm also including a quote by Abraham Lincoln, the best way to predict the future is to create it. I find this to be a powerful statement. I'm adding the words create and the dream on the pages for inspiration. Do you also have a passion for planning and pursuing your future with determination? Next is my sleep log and the workout tracker. I must confess that I have had a very poor routine that has left me feeling tired and eventually led to sickness. In an effort to improve my routine, I'm creating a sleep log and a workout tracker. The left page of my journal tracks my hours of sleep each night, as well as what time I go to bed and wake up. On the right page, I have a workout tracker where I'm placing a heart sticker in the center to remind myself to prioritize my health. Then I'm placing 28 white circle stickers on the top of the right page, then writing the dates. Even though I'm not particularly like this design, I'm learning to let go of my perfectionism. How does your routine look? Do you consider yourself a disciplined person? Lastly, I'm creating spreads to keep a record of my favorite music and the YouTube channels. Sometimes I listen to music or watch channels that I really enjoy, but I tend to forget their names if I don't revisit them for a while. To prevent this from happening, I like to record them for future reference. Do you also keep track of your favorite media? 
If so, how do you remember them? This is a final flick through. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some inspiration for your own planner or journal. And make sure to stay tuned for my next video on how I set up my February weekly spreads. Don't forget to check out this vintage book page is printable if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!